Hello, my name is Nathan Wood, and today I want to discuss an ancient suit of armor known as the Dendra Panoply, which is the first full set of armor that we know of, which didn't only consist of a helmet or a chest piece, but was actually a fully linked and protective suit of armor, much like the suits worn by the knights of old. However, unlike the suits worn by those ancient knights, the Dendra Panoply is far older, dating back to the Mycenaean era, which spanned from 1600 BC to 1100 BC, when Greece's first elite military units first arose, giving way to this new armor and coming close to the Bronze Age's end. The suit itself was first found in a tomb at Dendra Village, where it got its name, an area of Greece known as the Argolis region. It was discovered by a Swedish archaeologist, Axel Persson, and his army. <clears throat> his group, I guess you could say his army of archaeologists. In the 20th century, after they first unearthed a cemetery possessing a beehive-like structure with chamber tombs containing many other art artifacts along with the Dendra Panoply. The Panoply itself was entirely made out of bronze and it protected the body stretching from the middle of the face all the way down to the kneecaps. The suit featured a collar guard surrounding the neck area, reaching up to that middle of the face, and it stayed up to about maybe the top of the wearer's nose. It also sported massive pauldrons that covered the shoulders and possessed a piece of bronze on both, which further guarded the arms and armpits. These pauldrons were large enough to nearly reach the center of the breastplate and the backplate, adding more protection to the torso. There is also a small ring on the top edge of the pauldrons that could allow the wearer to attach the pieces on their own, not needing the squires that medieval knights needed to put on their armor. The breastplate and backplate were separated and latched together when the wearer is using the armor. Six other rectangular plates, three in the back and three in the front, encircled and covered the legs while still keeping them able to move. The suit was then found to be topped off with a boar tusk helmet, a cone encircled by those tusks to make a protective cover, and it was the only piece of the armor not made out of bronze. The large collar guard from before and this helmet only left the eyes and the top of the nose visible when the wearer stared straight ahead. And it is due to the armor's massive size and coverage of the body that those who used the armor didn't need a shield and instead would dual-wield swords in battle.